Today I will be talking to you about dead people uh, who are not, in fact, dead, or listed as dead, uh, and are very, very much alive, got themselves uh, dead certificates, newly issued state ideas, and or how Slovenian state became fascinated with the phenomena of death certificates issued to the people who just uh, not only in Slovenia but I shouldn't even say not only in Slovenia, but death certificates issued across the United States of America and or whatever other countries have opened up to Slovenia uh, about issuing fake death certificates to the people and how and so on. That's what I'm going to be talking to you about. Uh, it was just yesterday that my mother have announced me a death of the neighbor Peter Hentrich. And uh, once I made a circle around this home for elderly people, I immediately recalled what was year 2011. Um, this story uh, of the neighbor, Hentrich, uh, it was just driving through around the building uh, let me see if i can see here if i get to see he said to me exactly according to his words it was exactly the way he stated to me right here that's behind the ho uh, the home for elderly people <clears throat> the latest is going to get you that i file for the fake death certificate is once you get around this corner this is where 100% you will know that uh, it's me talking to you. And they were driving me inside of the car. I was sitting in the car. And we went over a death certificate, which individual, in fact, would file, uh, was trying to remind me of his health problems he suffered in 2011 when he was in fact hospitalized even uh, nobody knew about his medical problems about what went on and this stuff dragged on for some time he almost died he almost passed away and nobody knew how what exactly happened and what i was told even through the miracle they saved him okay uh, this kind of issues, any kind of medical issues, whether anybody have broken leg or uh, damaged himself, suffered some kind of injury or landed inside of the hospital. Uh, for my schoolmate, Rok Dobravec, let's say, who also got issued a fake death certificate, last year oh, there he is he's still here he's still here on um this is a beautiful beautiful uh, picture of him i was not on a boat when supposedly he tipped over whatever happened uh but he would rehearse during MK Ultra. He would repeat to me during MK Ultra 
to remind me over and over that he's going to go for the death certificate, that he, in fact, will file for the death certificate, uh, stated me in front of others that walked alongside during the hiking, trail hikings, um, you're going you're gonna to write me off here. You're going to write me off here. And he did all he could to remind me that it was a police investigator, police officer who was with us, and write me off. That means it's going to issue me a death certificate. And then you're going to arrange all that and so on and so forth. This man eventually immigrated to Ljubljana, at least temporary, based on my knowledge, where he also went on to study and live there for briefly. So I did spoke about he did have a girlfriend also uh, in another city. Uh, there is a, a bound of possibilities about where this guy could be. Obviously, this is hiding. Um, well, let me see if I can get better handage. Peter Hinchich, well, I'm going to get one here anywhere. I don't see one here. I don't see one anywhere. I don't see one anywhere. Uh, this was a, a stocky guy. Uh, that's his father, and uh, Peter Hentrich. This here is what I do not uh, quite understand, so I'm not sure about now exactly what exactly I am dealing with here. Hopefully that this is not his father. To me, the whole thing appeared. It was his son, and this is what I have to be really, really careful about that stuff. Um, I would say his son uh, is what my mother have spoken to me about just yesterday, eventually yesterday, and this is what we're going to go by, his son who had in 2011 medical problems, uh, and this medical problems eventually Result in his hospitalization, barely having his life saved. Uh, and uh, he very much also looks like his son, you know. The two look very much alike with one another. Um, and the two were very, very much involved in it. And uh, he said to me, When you're going to come here, before you're going to come here, so it was exactly according to MK Ultra scenario when I was taking my mom to father, and they totally knew about when this stuff is going to, you know, because they basically re rehearsed me this stuff on few occasions. I could possibly not forget about this stuff. So... I'm thinking actually about this stuff. This is now very dangerous stuff. Was it his father or was it his son? Uh, I think it was his son. See, his father was involved all the time. He was this is actually a very nice guy. Uh, and so the thing is that I know for a fact that this guy is not only did not pass away. Uh, I assume Rock Dobravitz was uh, also cremated, just like uh, Peter Hentrich, therefore the son of this man that you see there. Uh, it was a son. 
it must have been the sun. Uh, in 2011, it was a son. It was a son who was uh, uh, who ended up in a hospital. And I, I assume uh, this man also was officially cremated. So my schoolmate, so that now if you would go, you would get whatever you would get. Uh, but this video is directed in a completely, completely different direction. It's like totally, totally unpredictable and it's going to be extremely unpleasant uh, for many, many parties involved in it, far from Slovenia. Um, I, am, I am mad right now when I'm talking to you. I'm, I'm deranged, literally. I'm fucking pissed off beyond beliefs right now. I'm talking to you. I'm, I'm so pissed off. I'm not going to say I'm happy. But I'm so pissed off. Uh, remember when I told you that during MK Ultra I began to lobby politicians from the US to literally use Slovenia as a test field for the nuclear bombs. You remember when I told you to bomb the fuck out Slovenia to flatten the fucking country so that not a dog, not a cat, not a fucking chicken could exist in one. Do you remember these words? These are not the words of happiness I am repeating you right now. This is what I campaigned and when they told me because Slovenians became miserable with this they started to repeat this stuff and see if I'm going to ask for the same thing when suggested that unfortunately when they will do that stuff they won't be capable to help me in other words to save me out of the country and I calmed them down by saying don't fucking worry about me just fucking do it I mean it's like a maximum poison you can do to the person to his mind like fucking maximum, like so fucking poisonous that no snake has a poison like this to kill with. It's sick, it's sickening. And for that matter, I'm gonna say that the individual you see right there on the picture is a psychopath. And so is his son. I don't see you anymore. Is nice there was nice there was connected to the Serbia there was also a lot of evil it was also a lot of torture involved in it it's a neighbor but you both father and son you have to pay price for it you tortured and you went on to push against me psychiatry with this individual here that you see with his brother Drago Dobravec who also tortured I spoke about that stuff and you went on to compromise yourself with a central intelligence agency with the CIA with Americans to destroy me indefinitely with a play through the death through the fake death certificates issued for the cost of my life. I'm not going to say that the case would take for a different turn, but it was this criminals that became so fascinated visibly during MKUltra that they start to demand, as I earlier mentioned, the Slovenia got the hold of information how their fake death certificate issued abroad this shit topic opened in 2000 when Slovenian site claimed there was only two cases like this recorded in entire Slovenia in the history of Slovenia they were capable to trace but that this was the American market was simply flooded with this kind of issues 
and so was Germany and Britain and so on, that they were doing this kind of issues like on a fucking assembly line. And it afterwards came that American Central Intelligence Agency directors, assistants, uh, top CIA people, FBI people, uh, insisted me that need my help to get this type of crime resolved as there is nothing they can do because they're officials, because they're state officials employed by the state and it's counties, regional governments, state governments that issue this kind of certificates that in their opinion never should, but they do and therefore there's nothing for them they can possibly do about it but that I could be the one that would help them solve this kind of problem uh, for good forever at the same time it was the British royals that light they dreamed loudly I should say loudly they dreamed not light but loudly they dreamed if there's any difference about how that would add me extra points, uh, extra credibility to the so-called MKR case that will become more historically known and the stuff definitely should be included involved in the so-called MKUltra and what better way again to use a Slovenian police to get that kind of stuff done and so it went, except that, except that it was just 52 years of my life wasted on conspiracy theories now that Central Intelligence Agency, MI5, Berlin, literally, literally enforced, while at the same time creating Elon Musk's, Zuckerberg's, and billionaire's millionaires all over the fucking place uh, I was simply compelled to life in the car uh, homelessness sleeping on a fucking train stations bus stations and even inside of the forest while literally reporting myself at age uh, what can I say 48 49 to the factory where the outcome of my spine was totally known will be eventually become broken for the cost of close to the minimum Polish wage. I think it might have been even minimum Polish wage. It was not a lot, like $3 per hour, 12-hour shifts, that kind of stuff. Uh, I ran literally out from the psychiatric hospital for life, basically the fucking nowhere, to learn new languages and stuff. Uh, literally to sleep inside of the torture cell where Sia with the Pollux, with the Pollux, previously tortured inside throughout the Poland, and it's my life basically. Why would you do stuff like this to somebody who eventually crushed Soviet Union by himself? Why? If not to erase the person, to wipe out, to delete the person. Murder person from behind and take the credit for it all, like the person did not even fucking exist. Present him as mentally retarded, as you did in 2013, placed on my mouth even a deadly gag. Label me as a paranoid schizophrenic. Why would you do this kind of stuff? Why would you go and continue to enforce your conspiracy theories and stuff. Why would you continue to engage in violence more and uh, prove issues through my case and make this case is said known and more? What the fuck is it to you to do this stuff? I am 52 and I have nothing. Even the hell to destroy me. What is it to you that you just need to do this kind of stuff? Where is where the fuck is it stop this stuff? your stuff. Where, where does this shit stops? You know where it stops when it comes to dead people? Fuck you all. Right here and right now. Fuck you.
go do whatever the fuck you want to do with your dead people in America, in Britain, whatever you fucking list yourself as dead, or that you suffer accident, or whatever you suffered from, or whatever you do, fuck you. It's not my problem. Solve your problems whichever way you know. I owe to myself a fucking life. You understand? It's my fucking life. Now I'm talking to Central Intelligence Agency. I'm talking to the British MI5. I'm talking to the Germans. I'm talking to the people. Once you fucking worried about what is it going to be with Ukraine 30 years ago? Don't you remember nothing, how the fuck it all started throughout the Eastern Europe and this and that? How, whom would you trust? How to trust? Why would you trust? Would you trust? What the fuck is it with you now? I mean, it seems like you have too much trust and you don't know what the fuck to do with that trust. You have so much trust that you are overwhelmed with killing of that trust. You're doing absolutely everything to kill that fucking trust, aren't you? You're killing the people that you have used to step up, basically. I don't have anything else to say. I want to say to you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your dedication, all your help, for your sacrifice to ruin my life. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, good luck with your death certificates. Good luck with your case. Whatever you, you are out there, pursuing your endeavors, the, whichever way you want to do that. You are the worst the world have ever seen. You bring about the worst in a human being you possibly can with a, such a toxicity, with a, such a, with a such a evil, with a such an unprecedented evil, hatred that can be visible from my life, that you write the history, you write, you write the life, literally like with the blood, like you would chop the finger and you would start writing. I don't understand fucking thing about you people. What the fuck is it with you? What the fuck are you fucking fucking salinating the fucking reality or what? Where the fuck this nightmare ends? I am 52 years old. Do you understand? I am 52 years old. 52, 52. What the fuck is it to you to do this stuff? Where the fuck we go from here? What am I supposed to think about at all about this stuff here? Yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter. The guys like you are the guys that end up dead under the bridge or with a rope around the neck or inside of the psychiatry or inside of the jail. So it doesn't fucking matter. Have a nice day. Thanks for taking your fucking death. Contrary to my father, who is 92 years old, who was thrown again on a deathbed so that we could play also this kind of games. Um, 92 years old man whom they have made blind. Literally, they blind him. They take vision away from him. Then they went on to basically kill the will for life through him, make him completely toxic, insane, so that he would go and do the stuff the way they wanted him to do the stuff. They literally enforced the crime against me by making my father toxically insane. They did toxically insane, made also my mother to go about that stuff. They poisoned the whole fucking family. Don't you fucking see? Peter Hentrich, just like my father, so I was taught that my father would be thrown, would go. That's how they also lured my father inside of the home for elderly people. As the technology such was used that my mother would prepare him a shit food, 
he would start to gain weight, uh, didn't take care of himself. Uh, then they, they would get him something to suffer from, like stroke, and give him a philosophy that's not that eventually is going to get stronger and stronger by, do, by rehearsing the stroke, uh, but that every time he is being hospitalized during MK Ultra for a longer term than one month, he eventually end up by eating a proper food, losing a weight. And so it was also done in 2011 with Peter Hensic, who also lost weight on opportunity. Um, it's also what my mother told me that she spoke with her, with his mom. So we're talking about the son here, definitely. I didn't finish a little earlier. Uh, that he lose weight, that I don't know, that it was three months ago and that he lost a lot of weight, something like this. Uh, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, the same shit as he claimed me for the father, also claimed me for my neighbor Peter Hentzic, that uh, they already have helped quite a few guys like this, including Peter Hentzic, uh, to lose weight, basically get them inside of the close uh, care department and provides the proper amount of food and the proper nutrition for them, for them to recuperate themselves. And it apparently even became a trend, a hit that attributed to psychiatrist Peter Gops quite a few volunteers. It's how we take care of our boys. <laughs> My mind is actually shut because of the issues, of the health-related issues I'm dealing with. And when I'm thinking about a fucking scum rolling itself in the beds with close care supervision, uh, losing weight basically over there on the bed, being taken care of. So this is dumb, basically. Obviously, this is fucking dumb in the first place. And it's what I was suggested also by the royals, even from Thailand, that this is like the best way for the body it needs to be done here and there for the body to recuperate. I'm going to fucking vomit, excuse me, any moment now. Almost at that stage. I'm not faking it. I'm not a drama queen. Simply dealing with these beasts, with these animals that eventually even threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital and labeled me as mentally ill after ruining my life. You go fucking walk from the door to the door, Chicago and Minneapolis and Miami and Karlstadt and Göteborg and Bergen, and Oslo, and so on and so forth. And search for asylum, and sleep on a fucking train station and stuff. And you have this kind of fucking shit going on. And you go, see how the fuck you feel about the stuff like this. I'm age 52. And you will see who is closer to being insane, what is sane, what is normal, what is sick for you to make the final conclusion about my case, what my case was all about? Uh, if I'm not going to hurry up and find that he too will just walk me away somewhere to Steyrska or whatever region, he's got whatever girlfriend or relatives or whatever. So they go to the hospital literally to lose weight. Then what they do is 
they lose themselves to some other location with newly issued state ID and so on and so forth. I uh, failed to mention this, so I thought that I would mention this. My father is not going to have much to lose. You fucking murdered my father. He's 92 years old. And uh, I'm sure you have seen the video that is fucking insane as it gets. It was also involved in MK Ultra. Uh, the visit I paid to father the other day with what they mounted on the bed. Day before yesterday, right? Check this out. Check, check this shit out. Look what the fuck is this. Look what kind of bullshit is this. Look. Do you see what this is? Look where they mounted this stuff. For this stuff, they suggested once you see this stuff up, above the father is bad, like it is. It can... What do you think it can happen to this? Can it roll over, right? It can fall down. <laughs> it will kill one, right? <laughs> it will kill one, right? It will kill one. If it falls down, it will kill one, right? <laughs> what that means? That means that your daddy is close to death. <laughs> Your daddy is close to being killed, dead. And my mommy told me today that my daddy is as usual on his bronchitis, which normally starts in the spring and in the fall. And he, by the way, forgot how to breathe. And so they put him an oxygen mask. Uh, Uh, forgot to spit out the saliva or doesn't swallow. I don't know what he forgot, my mom said. I think that she even said that he forgot to breathe or whatever. <laughs> and got the oxygen mask and so on and so forth. Uh, I am not fascinated enough. I'm not laughing about because I would be driven nuts insane. I am just demonstrating you that there is people severely mentally sick, there is people severely mentally ill, they are employed by the Slovenian police, they are employed by the psychiatric hospital, they are packed inside of the Slovenian government, inside of the Slovenian parliament, and they continue to enforce extermination, genocide procedure which I already have complained to you beginning the 2006. So just I almost got killed in 2007 as I told you about that stuff. That's all the fuck I am telling you right now. I am telling you to fucking act because Slovenia is European Union member state. Slovenia is United Nations member state. And it cannot be United Nations as such. And it cannot be European Union as such. And it cannot be no fucking civilized nation as such. Nation as such is a threat to the world. The gravest, the biggest threat to the civilization. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. It doesn't fucking matter here. The British or Americans. Every nation, every state has to take care of its own affairs. And Slovenia is doing just so by murdering, killing people, making basically the show out of it. I'm not a drama queen, Slovenia is. Well, I was told by uh, all the parties involved in it, Americans, Germans, British. Uh, I was warned by uh, royalties and all kinds of people, the way you talk, you should already be, and so on, punished. Uh, in 2017, 
you already said against us 2016 you already Merkel also went down on me Angela Merkel and for the land oh, you are oh, you the said against us I said against you what what did I say against you motherfuckers what what the fuck what did I say to you what did I ever say it against you I was born in 1971 on December 9 It's been 44 years. I kept silent about you, scum. 2016 was the first time that I had your scumbaggery enough. What did I say about you, motherfuckers? You fucking animals. What have I ever said to you about you that is not true? The only thing I never did is state more than 1% of the evil that you have done to me. If it comes to what I ever say, what I said about you, who the fuck are you? What are you? People like you have numbers inside of the prison system. They don't have no first and I have no last name. Nobody's addressing them as a prince, king, queen. There's no such thing like Fon, that lay in Fon or Von or whatever. What are I said about you? And what the fuck have you done? What kind of conduct was your conduct against me for 44 years? Who got me inside of the psychiatric hospital in 2013? And how did you get me in psychiatric hospital beginning the 2008? Where you pushed me again out of the United States of America? How? What happened with a drill torture for which you started to guarantee me? Eventually, it's going to bring me through domestic case of violence, which was lice, nothing other than lice, into the psychiatric hospital in 2013. Finally, after five years of your violence, of not only MK Ultra violence, but violence that raged inside the home against me. So you tell me what the fuck I said about you. And you tell me, motherfuckers, why do you fucking breathe oxygen? Why the fuck do you exist? Why the fuck are you not being locked up inside of the prisons, incarcerated? Why have you not been tried? Why have you not been arrested? You fucking scum numbers. What have I done to you? What do you fucking tell me? You're going to fucking explain to me what the fuck I did to you. She said that I insulted you, that I hurt your feelings, etc., etc., etc. When in fact, I'm not going to say you are not capable to solve this problem within 44 years of existing case of MK Ultra bestiality you performed on me you couldn't even stop one and you were eager to close one with my death you did absolutely everything possible you possibly could do to get me killed scum what did I owe you what the fuck I owe you you tell me what is it the fuck I owe you and what the fuck I did to you what exactly? Tell me now, what the fuck I owe you and I have done to you that is not just, that is not right. When I had no fucking life, and you had the life of Rolls Royce, Mercedes, unlimited amount of money, all the luxury this world has. I'm not talking about here freedom. What the fuck I did to you? Scum that destroyed me, even American citizenship. I obtained through voluntarily subjecting myself to your fucking torture procedures. You worked, scum, for 44 years to get me killed. And you still could me. You still couldn't kill me at age 52. That's basically almost after 51 years of torture. MK Ultra bestiality performed on me. And you're going to fucking tell me that I said something against you. That I insulted. That I actually hurt your feelings. You're a fucking scum that doesn't have the fucking right to say like the prisoners in the worst penitentiaries don't have the right to say where they serve the sentences for the crimes your crimes are the most brutal crimes the humanity have witnessed despite your what you refer to us and what world wants to be has to watch as solving crisis in ukraine you just needed a fucking ukraine to keep yourself on the surface, 
because of the degree of crime performed against me. You fucking scum. What the fuck I did to you to hurt your feelings? You're fucking waste of oxygen. You're fucking disgrace for this world, for the human race. And it's somehow I don't understand your nations that allowed you to remain on a surface, basically, as a facade, basically, as a, what is it? What the fuck are you? Bulwark, you are, uh, what, a bastion that is posing in front of the truth about your holy nations. That's why I was so pissed off about your nation. I'm a pissed off about, there's a lot of good people in your nations, but this goodness of yours is being voided by the people whom you have actually gave yourself the right to shit, to fart, basically, fog in front of this case and continue to build some kind of a conspiracy theory, some kind of conspiracy theory plots, as you refer to as a conspiracy theories, of which many, most of them, those that are really unreal theories that are blatant lies that any idiot can see, you yourself have created so that you could equal them with me. You fucking scum. What the fuck I did to you, your feelings. You're not even people, fuckers. You're not animals and you're not people. You don't have any kind of feelings. When you're a murderer, when you're a criminal, all you get is a number. You're not a father. You're not a mother. You're not aunt. You're not an uncle. You're not a king. You're not a prime minister. You're not a boss. You're obviously not a worker. You're fucking nobody. You're just a number inside of the prison system. That's all the fuck you guys should be. And you're still out at large. You don't have the right to feelings. You fucking scum. But I'm not interested in solving the problems of this world, uh, the problems of developed world. Uh, I, I'm not interested in, in solving, uh, in the name of Slovenia, uh, the problems of this world. I don't consider myself that much Slovenian. I don't actually consider myself Slovenian of any kind. I don't even recognize Slovenia as a nation. I don't, I don't consider myself as a Slovenian. Fuck you. You live by your own fucking laws, by your own genocide, extermination laws, rules. And I do not obey them. I do not comply with it. I just want to make sure the world registered registers this case so that once you get fucked, that you will have nowhere to complain. You understand? So when you get fucked, when you get decimated next time, that uh, nobody will fucking hear you. Nobody will fucking see your squeak. You get it? Like a swine's. That's my job. I work by my own principles, by my own laws, and will continue to enforce them for the world to recognize you for what you are. You're going to see yourself. You're going to see yourself in me, in mirror of the pain and suffering. Next time you're going to squeak. You fucking swines. If Slovenia wants to solve the problems of this world, Slovenia had to find its way with the Central Intelligence Agency, with the MI5, with the Bundestag, with the German Reich, and together with the Russians, or whomever, or Serbs, or whatever you're going to be, you're going to be solving the problems of this world. I, however, have to alert the world today that the solving of the problems for the last 50 years, this is Slovenia, because so active in more and more active, more and more participating, more and more uh, ambitious in becoming well-known with his conspiracy theories and helping the world, basically. The world fucking deteriorated itself without a fucking shit. 
from the post-World World War II treatise, there are only words written on a paper that are fucking left. Can you fucking imagine that a tiny little Slovenia could fucking decimate you and fucking erase you, whatever the fuck you are? That it was a little fucking Slovenia with a two million people beginning in Yugoslavia that systematically erased the laws, the international treaties that pertain to the peace, treaties to everything that nations have come together after the World War II for the sake of the security, stability of this world. Can you fucking imagine this? Can you imagine that a little Slovenia continues to solve, you know? This is what it, this is what it makes. This is what it's solving. They are solving, they continue to solve, and the more they fucking solve, the more you have fucking problems getting more and more, more and more wars, more and more Trumps, more and more Putins, more and more clusterfuck, no, more and more and more hunger, more and more trouble around the world, more and more fuck up, more and more fire, and they continue to solve, and we continue to take charge, and continue to contribute the world and make the world a better place. Even that there is nothing else left from the international treaties, agreements, laws, than fucking empty dead words on a paper. Thank you, Milan Kurjan. Uh, thank you, Loise Peterle and Boucher. Tanya Fayon, Bord Pahor, Danilo Turk. Thank you to all the Slovenian parliamentarians, Slovenia. Slovenian Parliament, Slovenian people fucking love you. They fucking love you in your ass. They went to India to tell, to China, they always good advice everywhere and they continue to solve, they continue to solve. Till they will fucking crumble you into the pieces, whatever the fuck you are. You want to go and you want to solve the problems of the Central Intelligence Agency and MI5 in Bundestag? Well... You just have to buy yourself a fucking ticket and get your ass on a plane and go to America or whatever or get somebody else here, some somebody here from Slovenia and they will they will solve. They will continue, they will solve for you. And you're gonna be very famous then and it's gonna be this is the stuff I never searched for. I never wanted any of this. All I wanted to have is a private life as much as possible. My life basically, some kind of life. which you continue to abuse and turn into the hell with idea even that one day I would be happy with shit, basically with nothing. Erase me like I never fucking existed. So my father is 92 years old. He will not be jumping from the bed and uh, doing the exercise and hiking and stuff like this, like the two guys that I pointed you out out there. Within this uh, assistance that is being provided to the people, uh, it is also people we can agree are we are being killed, right? You fucking agree that you fucking killed me, and you fucking agree that you killed my father, family, and so on, that you are ethnic cleansing, that you are erasing people, right? So this is a show out in the open for the world to see, because we in Slovenia, we help you, whatever the fuck you are, we continue to solve, we continue to solve your problems. And the more of these words, the more of these empty words also written at the United Nations in a treatise, in constitution, in the Bill of Rights, they're all fucking empty. They have empty, they, they're empty, their message is empty. It's becoming more and more empty with more and more of these words with more and more of this proofs, it's more and more empty. The 2024 is coming, and Putin and Donald Trump are coming back too. It's, we're going to help you solve the problems, folks. Don't worry about it. Wherever you are in Ljubljana, they keep, they're solving your problems. They keep, they keep solving your problems. That's actually putting the fire out with uh, more fire, basically. Sem vam povedal, da jaz temi zadevami ne maram edni česar. Sem vam povedal, da jaz z vašimi zarotami, teorijami, zarot, conspiracy theories, ne maram ni česar med. 
povedal sem vam, da ne moram časa izgubljati. To sem vam povedal, da ne moram časa izgubljati, da se ne, ne drek mešati še bolj, mi še več časa krst, mi še večje probleme delati. To je pa točno zaradi stvari, zaradi katere te stvari počnete. To so točno stvari, zaradi, zaradi katerih te stvari otežujete, uničujete primer, delate stvari nemogoče, pod nemogočnimi, pod nemogočnimi okoliščini, za katere se trdil, da bojo smrtno nevarne zame, zaradi zdravstvenih težav, katere ste povzročili z zastrupitvami preko, vašeg, preko vaših drugeran, zastrupitvami. Otežujete rešitev tega problema in se trujete, da bi naredil, da bi uničil, da bi uničil na vsak način, za vsem, kar imate, zavlačujete postopek, kater ga bi moral priznat najmanj že leta 2010, pa se se na te, namesto tega spomeni, da mi treba vrši notri celo v psihijatrijo. Nekoga drugega boste morali najdi, treba jeti na avion, treba rit v zdegen tu Ameriko jeti, v Nemčijo, pa boste skupaj z vašimi Britanci, Amerikanci, Nemci, Rusi, skomrkoli boste, pa boste rešvali ta svet. Preko tega primera tukaj ga ne boste. Treba je rit leno smrdljivo slovensko v zdegen gnoji slovenski. Na avion je treba jeti, treba je delati, treba je prijeti za delo gnoji slovenski, paraziti iz strepki slovenski. Treba je delati, treba je plačuvati račune, gnoji, gnojnica slovenska smrdljiva, ki se je razlila po svetu in zasmrdila cel svet. Treba je po pošteno živt barabe proklete slovenske. Gnojnica slovenska.